All right, guys, you're ready to roll out. Training Wheels here, and we're back with the Nuzlocke challenge of Pokemon Emerald. So we just got into this town, and uh, she's looking for Wally. That's his mom, maybe his aunt, I believe, actually. Kettleburg Gym, that's where dad is. Ooh. Hiya, are you maybe a rookie trainer? Do you know what Pokemon trainers do when they reach a new town? They first check what kind of gym is in town, okay. See, this is Kettleburg City's gym. This is the gym sign. Look for one. Okay. I'm probably not going to read all the text. Okay, wait. Do I actually need to... I think that's... Yeah, I don't get to face him yet. Dolphins and Kitten. <laughs> yes, Dad, it's me. Your daughter. The one you probably don't see very often because you live in a different town. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Oh gosh, okay, there's Wally. Alright, so we're gonna basically go and help Wally, which I don't mind doing. I'll loan you my Pokemon. See, wow, Dad's like a gym leader, but he's got a Zigzagoon? Like. Okay, Dad, that's kind of suck. Yeah, of course I'll go with you, little one. <laughs> well, at least I don't have to, like, push any buttons. He can just drag me wherever he wants me, I guess. Kitten, you put you on hide in the tall grass like this, don't they? Oh, I was going to say, I thought he was telling me that instead of asking. All right. You can get your rolls. You can do it, Wally. Tackle. Nice. Totally a master trainer here, Wally. Totally. Absolutely. Number one, the best. Actually, TBH, I don't actually have like any annoyances towards Wally at all. I actually find him quite adorable, and I would probably be his friend if I lived in the Pokemon world, because he's just very sweet. Alright, yes, you throw your ball now, and you can do it, friend! Go! It's potion, it's Pokeball. At least he came prepared, I guess, for the Nuzlocke challenge. <laughs> nah. Ugh. The most stressful part, kid, trust me. And he caught it, which happens every time because this is scripted. La la la. la. Alright, so. I did it. It's my Pokemon. Yes, it's your Pokemon, Lolly. Alright, so we're gonna go back here. And, you know, Dad'll be like, did it work out? Yeah, yeah, it did. Go. And then Dad's gonna give us some dad advice. Going to Rustboro City, challenge Roxanne. Alright. Okay, I know. Thank. Thank. Okay. Bye, Dad. I am gone. Alright. So, what's up here? I probably could have just read the sign, but, you know. Oh, it's Wally's house. So it's his parents. Alright. Here's the roll. This way. Oh, it's just the... Okay, so this is like five minutes of playtime that's just story, which I mean it's good and all, but I'm also like, I kind of want to just go out and like, you know, fight some Pokemon, catch some Pokemon. I'm actually really nervous about catching Pokemon right now because of, you know, the randomness, I guess, of what my next Pokemon will be. And here we are on the next route, so... Let's see. What Pokemon do I get? And it's... <gasps> Yes! 
Yes. Everything about this is yes. I'm gonna switch Pokemon really quick. Alright, I'm going to bring out um, Fred. Oh, crap. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, Fred used tackle. Okay, I can get back. attack though. Okay, that's fine. I don't really want to do a lot of damage to him. He's a yellow. So I can... Pokeball. Can you use the Pokeball? Nice. Awesome. He got. Oh, we got experience of catching it? I didn't know that happened. Okay. Awesome. Alright. Yes, I will give this cute little sheep. I'm getting all boys. That's weird. Alright. Who needs a cute name? What are some good sheep names? All I can think of like is little Bo Peep. I'm all just Bo. Yeah. B. That's a boy name, right? I mean, I knew a kid in like kindergarten whose name was Bo. I'm actually kind of gonna run back to the Pokemon Center because no, I'm like super concerned about the risks. I play like this a lot, by the way. I like will pretty much constantly be running to Pokemon Centers, even without doing the Nuzlocke challenge. I'm like, no. Alright, my Pokemon's being restored. Let's see us again, alright. Let's go. Um, so I'm kind of recording these in bulk right now because I'm wanting to clear up like the rest of my month so I can focus on um, what I really want to be doing right now, which is playing the Pokemon TGC online and basically grinding up enough stuff. Uh, enough stuff, yeah. Basically grinding up enough pokey points to get a bunch of booster packs so I can build uh, a custom deck. Because I don't have custom deck. I have only decks I've bought or uh, the basic decks that they give you for just playing the game and that really bothers me. I mean it shouldn't really bother me, bother me per se, but it, it kind of does. Let's put, you know what, let's put Benny back out front. There we go. More berries. Two orange berries. Yes, I really need these. Keep my Pokemon safe, you know? Found two Tasha berries or Pekka berries. Pekka? Pekka? Alright. I'm gonna bet that's a trainer. Maybe? No. Alright, now we're gonna go up through here, which again, this is a new area. So. So this is the first Pokemon encounter in the area, and it's a Zubat. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Do I want the Zubat? I already have a flying type. Hmm. You know what? 
No, I don't. I don't. I do not want to see that. It might surprise you guys. But I mean, I already have one flying type. I mean, I know Zubat is really good and actually will evolve into Crobat, and that'll be really nice as well. But I'm also like, no. I just I already have one flying type. Alright. While Zubat fainted, Benny gained 38 experience, though. So this will be a grinding only experience. Wait. Found one potion. Nice. Okay. That was weird. I'm not used to them being blank. I guess, you know, like I said, I've played way too much of the uh, the MMOs recently. I'm kind of used to the way they work. Another item and another battle. <sighs> okay, Vinat. Nice to see you. Vinny's gonna do some rollout on your ass. Let's go. Boop. It's super effective. Wild Vinat used disable. Vinny's rollout was disabled. Oh shit. And I've gotten you. That's a cool move. Alright. That's fine. I'll use poison. It's not very effective. Yeah, because you're a poison type. Try roll out again. There we go. It's super effective. Okay, using foresight. He's identified Benny. Okay. So did I when I put him in my Pokedex. All right. Sixty-four EXP, getting close to level ten, aren't you, love? All right. Got one paralyzed heal, which will be very useful later on, I'm sure. All right. Oh no 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 no. Okay. I wasn't really expecting to do any level grinding here, but I mean, I mean, you know, you know, it isn't really a bad thing. Because if I can get these Pokemon leveled up to, you know, a good place, then the gym challenge won't be that hard. Because, you know, a lot of times people do lose their Pokemon in the gyms. And my fear is pretty much, you know, that I'll walk into that gym and I'll lose them. And I really don't want to. So. Roll out. Super effective. Okay. That peck was also super effective, so. Oh, good, because he hit him, he's poisoned. And he's hurt by poison, which should take him down. Excellent, excellent. Alright. Pretty good to level 10. Very good. Alright, well. I'm gonna at least get us up to, you know, no, 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 don't go there. But I'm gonna at the very least get us up to, go for it. Actually, I might, oh, great. Team Aqua. Hand over those papers, no, hey. Okay. After this, we'll cut it then, because this is kind of important. No one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy, not even a kick. Okay, that's scary. Like, okay, Team Aqua. I didn't even heal up. 
This is gonna suck, isn't it? It's an Ella Rubat. Look at his fuzzy little face. Let's roll out. Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> no! Oh, no. Oh no, I had so many plans for you. <sighs> Alright. No more, uh, just a nice cat. Mrs. Nice Cat, whatever. <sighs> I should have healed up. I'm a complete idiot. This is entirely my fault. This was definitely not the uh, place I wanted to end this episode. Yeah, screw you too. such a hollow victory. Like, I'm sorry I'm, like, complaining a lot. It's just, you know, I had so many plans for Benny and now he's gone. I guess that's what makes this, like, you know, such a challenge, though, is that, you know, you're not gonna have your Pokemon around forever. <sighs> Alright. Well, thanks for the great ball, I guess. Alright. So... Fun, buddy. Alright, well. As per the rules, I have to release Benny. How do I do that? Um. I guess that happens at, uh. I guess that happens at the, uh, you know, the next city. I guess I can put him away in, uh... If I can stop saying, uh, put him away in a box, you know? Alright, what's going up? Mm. Like I said, that was such a hollow very hollow uh, victory there because now I have lost one of my Pokemon. I don't really know where I am right now. I'm a little distraught. Is this the... What's this? Oh, it's the flower shop. I don't really care about berries and stuff right now. Alright, let's at least heal the team up. I keep saying these videos are going to be 15 minutes long and then it's like, no. Keep item. That's all I wanted to do. Bag. Potion. Use just because I don't trust it on peak. Why did I not use a potion in battle? I don't know what I was thinking. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, click subscribe and follow me on Twitter if you want to be tweeted at all day. With that in mind, I will catch you next time. Later haters.